how Yoruba's indigenes in Kotono prevented a helicopter for whisking Sunday Igboho to Nigeria. Hello, my wonderful people. Report reaching us is that um, some Yoruba indigenes in Kotono assisted to ensure that a particular helicopter that wanted to whisk Chief Sunday Igboho away. You know, that man is a very brutal man. Yes, the former chief of army staff that is now an ambassador in Kotonu, uh, in the Oibene Republic, so to say. You know, he's a very evil person. That man has committed a lot of war crime. Yes, and uh, Buhari honored him. You know, man can honor you, but if God has not honored you, you are dishonored. Okay? And so this man, according to what we are hearing, you know, planning to use an helicopter to weak Sunday Boho away. But a uh, report says that Yorubas in Kotonu prevented this very uh, thing from happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, uh, like us, share, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. How Yoruba indigenes in Kotonu prevented a helicopter from whisking Chief Sunday Boho to Nigeria? Mr. Yomi Eloy, the lawyer to the popular human rights activist Chief Sunday Boho, on Wednesday, 21st of July 2021, makes more revelation regarding the arrest of, the, of his client at the airport in Kotonu. The lawyer said, the lawyer maintained that after Igboho was arrested, a helicopter was already waiting to transport him to Nigeria, but some Yoruba indigenous at the airport prevented the repatriation. Mr. Lawyer revealed that the freedom fighter, his brother and wife were already in the plane when someone raised an alarm and pointed to Sunday Igboho that he's a wanted man. And so security operative bounded him out of the plane. But in the process, his wife and brother put up a fight and started shouting at the airport because the helicopter was already on standby to whisk Sunday Igboho away. The annoyance, however, attracted some other Yoruba indigents present at the airport. And so he was rescued from the plan to repatriate him that very night to Nigeria. He was brought down, he was brought down with the wife and brother and ensured because he was to fly from Nigeria, he was to fly to Nigeria by the standby, he was to be flown to Nigeria by the standby helicopter. But the wife and brother put up a fight and started shouting at the airport, which attracted some other Yoruba indigen and prevented this from happening. The lawyer revealed that this was what he was told when he investigated further with his clients what really happened that night. So what we are hearing now, uh, I've never heard this version before, is that um, Tony Bo was already successfully on the plane. However, somebody noted, noticed him and the person was the one, we don't know who that person is, it's still a mysterious person. The mysterious person was the one who raised the alarm that, oh, this is Chief Sunday Bo, who is a wanted man in Nigeria. Who that person is, we don't know. You know, according to what we are hearing, he has successfully boarded the plane. But when the person raised the alarm, the others and everyone around was like, what's going on here? Of course, security operative came and they said he's wanted person. Before he could know it, he was, according, initially I thought it was just him and his wife. But news report, reports reaching us now is that it's not just, it was not just him and his wife. They said his brother was also, you know, uh, going with them before this happened but who that person is that raised the alarm that chief sunday Boho is a wanted man in nigeria we don't know it's still a mystery still a mysterious person who has said that chief sunday Boho is a wanted man and so that was how chief sunday Boho was brought down from the plane and what we are hearing now is that you know there was already a plan there was an helicopter on standby to ensure that the weeks chief sunday Boho away you know remember that the the uh, what's it called the former chief of army staff has already you know uh sensitized bene people he has put things on ground machineries uh you know and has you know been informing people that chief sunday boho uh, is coming this route blah 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 and all that so a lot of persons uh you know eyes are already on ground looking out for chief sunday boho but who that person is, because I've never heard this version of the whole issues and, you know, the whole matter since the matter has started. I've never heard that, um, you know, it was somebody who raised the alarm in the very plane that Chisondi Buhu has successfully boarded the plane. 
So we keep you informed as the matter unfolds. But most of all, we all owe it to Chief Sunday Boho to continue to pray. Yes, you and I need to pray. Because the truth of this matter is, let's be very honest, you don't trust these people. They call themselves leadership. They tell you they will assist. They tell you of their support. But you'll be surprised that most of them, they are not reliable. When the chiefs are down, you will see them all, uh, uh, or, you know, see the, them all, you know, using you to drink tea. You know, if God, unless God protects and, you know, makes you a voice and somebody who stands out. These people, they do not care. And so every one of us have got a duty here to ensure that we speak out. You know, as much as we are speaking out, we are praying. You know, that this everything will go well and Chief Sunday Boho will not be, you know, will not be uh, consumed in the whole of all that is happening. This was what Nelson Mandela was crying for, safety for his people. And he was the target. That man was in prison for 27 years. Oh, you heard me correctly. 27 years. Why? He said South Africa should be free. South Africa should have independence. South Africa should be able to live their lives and make their decision. And that alone, you know. And guess what? At that time, they looked after him. But let me tell you, we have a brutal person now. Very brutal. Imam Muhammad Buhari. Somebody can be in the prison, they will just go and kill the person. And they will come back and tell you that he was trying to run. Not be Nigeria. <laughs> Never see anything. They could just cook, give you one cock and boot story. That uh, one, thing, one thing happened. Look at what happened to Buhari's driver. The driver that they revealed, you know, duped, made Buhari sign a particular uh, whatever. And guess what? After beating the man to death, they went to drop him in uh, Abuja Hospital and they said he died of natural cause. The man was ill before. Meanwhile, DSS grilled that man to death. Then they dumped him off. What about what happened in Lekki Gate? Have you heard Nigerian government own up till today? The answer is no. So these are some of the things that go on in our country unchecked. Nobody, I mean, nobody says anything everybody allows things to just go and at the end of the day one is really wondering how did we get here just how did we get here these are some of the things that happen these are some of the experiences we are getting as nigerians and so nobody can say it's not my business it does not consign me ah no it's our business it's not your business it's not my business it's our business we all have a duty to speak and to ensure that we speak speaking out is very important at this point in time so that we, we all, at the end of the day, can smile. Leave us a comment. We sincerely like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.